Here's an Aphrodite Valentine's Day top tip. For dads, be as boring as possible. <laughs> Hi there, welcome to Afro Daddy. Today I'm gonna to give you all the information I have about how dads can be romantic for Valentine's Day. So it'll probably be the shortest Afro Daddy video ever. It's true, I know pretty much nothing about how to be romantic, especially as a very tired working dad. But I thought I'd be okay because I have the whole internet to help me. Unfortunately, after doing many searches and going through many, many websites, I discovered a disturbing trend. All the tips that these sites gave dads on how to be romantic for Valentine's Day and just in general were pretty boring. And you know, I was looking for something with a little bit of a pizzazz, a little spice, a little woo. Basically, I was looking for something that would guarantee me a little reward after it all, if you know what I mean. So being completely disheartened by what I saw on the internet, I went to the wisest person I know, my wife. Yes, that's right. I went to my wife to ask for advice on how I could be romantic for my wife. It may not have been my finest hour, but it did end up with me getting this. A list of seven things I could do to be more romantic on Valentine's Day and, well, every other day as well. So here we go, this is what she had to say. A foot rub or even a full body massage with no expectations of anything else happening. Okay. To be given time away from the kids to go with friends. I can organize a date night, which means organizing a babysitter and booking the restaurant and finding the right movie, as well as making sure the kids are gonna be okay while we're away for those hours. I don't like making phone calls that much. Do all the parenting stuff while she sits on the couch and watches Downton Abbey. I can cook her a nice meal. So, like takeouts, right? That's good. Oh, here's a good one. Uh, a bubble bath with some wine that is uninterrupted for an hour. Wow, she really wants to be alone. I saved my favorite one for last because this way I get to spend time with her, I get to get some food, and we don't have to organize a whole bunch of stuff. In fact, this can be done when the kids are already in bed. She wants a picnic on the floor in the lounge, just the two of us. So I'm not sure if you could tell, but my wife's list pretty much as boring as everyone else's. And I realized this is because being a parent and especially a mom is really hectic. And thinking about Valentine's Day just adds another thing to worry about. So maybe the best thing you could do for Valentine's Day is to actually ask your wife what she would like to do. And if she's anything like my wife, it'll probably mean just a little bit of time to myself. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Afro Daddy. If you have some great tips for other dads about how they can be romantic that I haven't covered in this video, please leave them in the comments section below this one. I would love to connect with you on as many platforms as possible. So do me a favor, go to facebook.com forward slash Afro Daddy CT and like my page, get in the conversation there. You can also subscribe to the YouTube channel right there and make sure that you never miss an episode of Afro Daddy. And finally, if you're feeling really generous, you can go to my Patreon page and pledge a dollar or two or three a month to make sure I can keep doing these as often as possible and I can make them better, I can buy more equipment and that way we all win. Thank you so much for watching. Afro Daddy out. It's like a hammer. You can use it to build an amazing house or you can use it to bash someone's head in. And I'm on a mission to teach my sons how to use it the right way. It's the first way, just in case you were confused. <laughs>